Following last week's video, where I covered converting numbers to Roman numerals, I received an email from someone who asked how to generate ordinals. If you don't know what ordinals are, first, second, third, five hundredth. These are examples of ordinals. I think the question came off the back of my Henry VIII, Elizabeth II example. Anyway, that's what I'm going to cover in this video. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the practice file from the link in the description below. Before I get to the conversion demo, if all you want is a simple list of numbers displayed as ordinals, you can use autofill. So in A1, if I type first, press enter, point the mouse at the bottom corner of A1 and get the little black cross and drag the mouse down, it generates a list of sequential ordinals. You can also include text. So say I'm writing a book and I need a list of when each draft or revision is due. I can go up to B1. I can type first draft or first revision, point the mouse at the bottom corner, drag the mouse down, and I get sequential ordinals and the word draft is copied. Like standard autofill, you can also do non-consecutive numbers. So I need a list of dates that represent the 5th, 10th, 15th, etc. anniversary of something. So if I type 5th anniversary into C1 and 10th anniversary into C2, select both cells, point at the bottom right corner and drag the mouse down, you can see what that gives you. But let's move on to generating ordinals from numbers. It's actually more complicated than you might imagine. On the surface, anything that ends in 1, such as 1, 21, 31, 101, 121, has ST appended to it. 1st, 21st, 31st, 101st, 121st. Anything that ends in 2, such as 2, 22, 32, 102, 122, has ND appended to it. And anything that ends in 3, such as 3, 23, 33, 103, 123, has RD appended to it. Anything else has TH appended to it. But there are exceptions to that rule. And those exceptions are 11, 12 and 13, which end in 1, 2 and 3. But the ordinal is TH. The first part of the formula simply takes the value that is in B1. The next part of the formula appends the appropriate text onto the number, TH, ST, ND or RD. But it's not that simple, as I said. We need to check for those exceptions. So we need to know if the value in B1 is 11 or 12 or 13. But it's not just 11, 12 or 13, it could be 111, 112, 113, 211, 212, 213, etc. So this is the formula I've used. The mod function takes a number, in this case the number that's in B1, and divides it by the number that is the second argument, in this case 100, and the result is the remainder. Without getting too mathematical, suppose B1 contains 212. We don't want the ordinal to be 212 ND. Remember, anything that ends in 2 normally has ND appended to the end. So what we do is we'd say 212 divided by 100 is 2, and that leaves a remainder of 12. In other words, there are two 100s in 212, which added together gives you 200, and that leaves 12. So just to show you, if I go to E1 and type equals mod, open brackets, B1, comma, 100, and close brackets, and then press enter, we get the 12. Don't be put off by the maths. I'm trying to explain it in a way that won't have you running away screaming. So this part of the formula is saying if the result of mod B1 100 is 11, 12 or 13, then append TH to the number that's in B1. Now, what if the number doesn't end in 11, 12 or 13? 
If it ends in 1, as long as it's not 11, I want ST to be appended. If it ends in 2, as long as it's not 12, I want ND to be appended. If it ends in 3, as long as it's not 13, I want RD to be appended. If it ends in any other number, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 or 0, I want TH to be appended. So this is what I use. This one takes the number in B1, divides it by 10, and the answer is the remainder. So if B1 contains 32, for example, there are three tens in 32. Three tens are 30. 32 minus 30 is 2. So if I do equals mod, open brackets, B1, comma 10, we can see the result of that is 2. 2 has ND appended to it, so we'd get 32nd, which is correct. By the way, if you're wondering when to use mod 100 and when to use mod 10, when you want to check the last two digits, special cases like 11, 12, 13, 211, 212, 413, use mod 100. When you want to check the last digit, which will be most cases, use mod 10. So here's the finished result. If I just test out a few examples, so if I put 1 into B1, I get first. If I put 20 into B1, I get 20th. If I put 18 into B1, I get 18th. If I put 11 into B1, I get 11th. I think that is working. Well, that's it. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like more Excel tips and tricks, check out my website at theexceltrainer.co.uk. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video, but until then, have an excellent day.